De La Croche, based on Brian Chan's BC Cadice merger. It is especially effective for Cadice emergence late in the day, dusk into darkness. The hook is a grip 14723BL, size 12. The thread, Beneki, 12 volt in black, attached just back of the eye, run down a few turns, and then trim away the waste. The ribbing material is some D rib in olive, size small. Tied in underneath and kept there. Slight tension as I wrap the thread closer to the bend. The shuck material is some Z lawn in silver color. Tied in on top. D rib is kept underneath. So I wrap well into the bend. For the body, it's a green and olive mix. Some bright green and some medium olive. Simply twist it around the thread. Then a body is formed. about a quarter behind the eye. The D-rib is then wrapped in open spiral under some tension to give a segmented effect and tie it down. The excess is trimmed. The legs are a few barbs of a dark mottled feather. I'm using Whiting Farms Cocteleon Hen saddle barbs. Brown partridge would be a good alternative. and trim away the waste. For the wing and some deer hair, I like a bit of a rag at the end for the tips so I don't stack. It's tied in facing forward length of the wing. It's about the length of the hook shank. Cinch it down tight. Then trim away the butts to form a shoulder. The thorax or the head. Some dark coarse dubbing. I'm using squirrel. Hair's ear would be a good alternative. Making one, two turns behind the wing and in front of the shoulder. Then lift the wing upright and wrap the head quite spiky. A 
and finish off with a three turn whip finish. And trim the thread. The shark is a little long still and I use the edge of the blade to trim it to length. This completes the La Croche, a caddis emerger pattern that is especially effective with caddis emergence into dusk and darkness. The upright wing keeps it visible even under low light conditions.